Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. Wow, wow, hey. Eh? So it's actually funny, just uh, just over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking with a guy who knows some stuff and we both been saying K45's coming. He says, like he knows these games really well. He works in the gaming industry and he had been saying game cycle wise, K40's run its course. They're about to increase to K50. Uh, one thing that I noticed was like, I'm done military academy. Uh, my dragons are almost all max and usually when I get to that point because I'm not a massive coiner uh, they raise the bar so and because the big coiners have got to that point already so I was expecting something like this one thing he pointed out here too was in the mysterious puzzles they've added all these extra islands and he actually showed me an image the other day and he wrote on these like 46 to 50 40 to 45 like different levels that uh, they could be doing here and linking it to stuff in the game. Uh, I did a video a couple weeks ago and I said t sixteen's coming and I said, look, you can see in here just like before when, uh, oops, went a little too far there. Just like before when T-15s came, there's a space behind T-8s right now. And you could see it, all the other times there is a different troop so i was like it's coming that's exactly what happened before and people laughed at me well here it is so what does this do for us as players well it's going to mean uh you spend or you fall behind obviously right uh i also said when they emptied out everybody's bots it might be because there's a major update coming and they wanted to reset everybody's like growth right like say hey, start from zero this is the path that we want we, we want it to take this long we don't want people who are hoarding and holding on to hundreds of billions of resources to have a really good head start at this uh so let's look at things that are in the update that they talked about so first they talked about uh, server maintenance coming up so at gmt zero zero uh to 10 a.m i don't know i if that's uh like that should be server zero zero time. Um, so hopefully like I'm awake and I can update my game and take a look at it. They're adding K45, so let's look. So first thing, obviously buildings go to 45. Great, no problem, understood. New building, council of state. The monarch can manage the military and political affairs of the city. So one thing that I'm really hoping in all of this is that uh, you can get stuff in game like tactic scrolls are we going to be able to reuse them or research stones or are they just going to keep piling up in our inventory i hope they reuse some stuff that we've done that would be a real nice thing for ebony to do especially to older servers uh otherwise it's going to drive people out of the game for sure uh and then here Middle, middle, military political governments appoint historic generals to military titles and positions so i assume that's kind of like duty officers new advanced troops okay that's easy to understand adjusting subordinate city capacity okay so up there's two additional subsidy slots does that include the slot that you can buy so can you get up to 12 now or can you get up to 10 like i'm at nine do i get 10 automatically for free or do I have to pay for the 11th? Or do I get two and then get the one? That's a big question, something we will learn. And subordinate city, it's good. That will help. We're gonna need it. That's uh, long overdue. Glorious relics of past civilization bear witness to bygone glory. Monarch, repair these relics, collect them, restore historical stones. So I don't know what that is. No idea, I guess we'll figure it out. New building, Idea Land will officially launch after the update. Collect civilization landscapes, freely place them in ideal land and construct your desired museum. Okay, uh, no idea. Ancient ruins, no idea what that is. Renaissance style, vividly portrayed in the luxurious court buildings with their extravagant carvings and glidings. You can obtain gorgeous civilization buildings through participating in events and various gameplay. Okay, not very well described. This is where I've gone uh, many times and I've told YouTube like, hey, you need, or sorry, not YouTube, Ebony, you need your own like 
YouTube channel or you need to hire a YouTuber. I've offered them my services many times just so that someone can actually explain this stuff and show it ahead of time rather than what's going to happen now. It's going to take like weeks. People are going to play the game and kind of figure it out. So be patient with this stuff. If you're getting these stones and stuff, don't use them. Collect them. Save them. Wait till someone smarter than all of us figures it out and then we copy them and you don't waste uh, stuff. A monarch has conquered many powerful nations and formidable legions. Encountering the powerful military formations and tactics of various civilizations, the city has higher level trap. Okay, we don't care about traps. No one really cares. Uh, even if they do work this time, uh, the problem is they die. So you kind of use your resources, which you could have used for permanent things like buildings or troops. New melee formation. Okay, long range formations. I hope that means you can improve your troops to have a longer range or ground troop speed, mounted troop speed. I don't know. I wish that what they would actually do is as you increase the wall, your archers can shoot further or your siege machines can shoot further. So there's actually an advantage to doing a wall like in old Ebony. New defense, new higher level traps. Okay. Spiritual beasts. This to me sounds like nothing. Just uh, that there's new dragon levels or new dragon talents spiritual beast and innate skill after reaching a certain level siren okay so all the new ones each seal pro provides unique attributes upgrading seals can unlock innate skills and activate okay increasing dragon talent level yeah okay so talent level instead of just uh instead of just the dragon level. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if uh, it costs something special, like you're ascending the dragon. That's what I fear. Enhan event optimization, okay? So they're gonna change some of the stuff like gathering event and King's Path that we do all the time and it's the same. We'll see. Value of most packages will be significantly increased. Okay, so you're gonna be spending money that is obvious after the version update most rewards will be comprehensively increased including monsters battlefields regular events and holiday events okay that's a good thing number of garuda you can summon off the map and the rewards will be improved and a chance to be challenged the excellent garuda okay and a hard mode to the undead invasion okay because everybody loves undead New resource spots, new boss monsters, balance adjustments. The action priority of level 15 and level 16 siege machines is increased. Okay, that's actually super important. So currently the way Evany kind of works is troops attack upwards. So they attack their own tiers, but they also start at the highest tier. So that's why if you, they're talking about siege here. So let's say you send a siege rally attack. It will attack all of the opponent's top level tiers right now. So like, you have to kill all their 15s before you start to attack their 14s and 13s and 12s. Let's see if this changes anything. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we have to see how this, uh, this uh, will affect things. Maybe they just give them a higher bonus range. I don't know. There was also something else I read in here. Let's see if I skipped over it. To ascend the throne sooner, the monarch will adapt the advanced kingdom system, announcing comprehensive political and middle military forms, thus declaring the glorious era of monarchy has officially arrived. Okay, so what does this mean? Ascend the throne sooner. Is this just Evany with their, they, they use weird jargon all the time and think that this is some glorious historical medieval game. Or does this actually have something to do with the throne on the server? Is this going to mean that uh, the days of sharing throne on server is over? Is there going to be some benefit in holding the throne longer than two weeks? Or your alliance be holding the throne? I don't know. I guess we will have to see. But uh, anyways, so much to unravel here. Love all the thumbs down. I will add to that. This is, I don't know. For most people, I think this is not going to change the game for you for a little bit. Uh, one thing that I will say that I made a mistake on on my previous server was I should have just kept adding power rather than building up the keep level. Like, like I could have been a, a 17 billion power K39. Instead, I went to K47 billion, 
And then there's so much more work to do to get to T15s. So I don't know, something to consider, just ignore it and then do it in the future. I'm gonna, I don't know. I gotta see what buildings unlock at each level to see if it's worth shooting up. But anyways, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'm sure not many people are too happy about this, but uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.